What's up everybody? We're gonna show you how to fix and diagnose a salt cell. If it shows a red light or flashing lights and your salt reading in the pool is good, then I'm gonna take you through these steps to fix it and bring on a green light so we can start producing chlorine with our salt cell. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Happy pool. So we got low salt. gonna run off this timer right here so it's gonna turn on at 9 and turn off at 5 this controls it you always want to make sure that this is in the correct time if the power ever turns off we will have to reset it to the correct time right now it's 10 o'clock we want to verify that our pump is at the same time it's 10:13. To test our salt, we're gonna bring it up to the 10 on the water line right here. We're gonna put one drop of R630. Swirl. If you get any of these on the deck, we wanna wash them off immediately. We're gonna put a drop 0718 silver nitrate. Every drop equals 200. But you, huh, Spencer? It's me. And then each one of these drops is gonna equal 200. So you can either count and times it by 200 or you can just count 200. I normally count, but I'll do 200 a drop. 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000. 1200, 1400, 1600, 1800, 2000, 2200, 2400, 2600, 2800, 3000. We're looking for the salmon color. This. 3200. 3400. 3600. See the colors on this, like the cap? It's the salmon color we're looking for. 3600. Or 18 drops. So we get a good salt reading. So we're gonna check the filter. Filter wasn't that bad, so we're gonna check the salt cell as well. Sure, it doesn't have puff film in the I'm gonna turn it off. Unscrew this. You always want to hand tighten and loosen these unions. You can see I'm struggling, but as I get up, I can get enough leverage to loosen them. I'm going to put my feet in between the cell to hold it in place as I lose the plastic. Good. Okay. Got some lube on our 
itself stand. Put our cell stand on, make sure this is really tight. Put our cell stand on, we're gonna do one part acid to four parts water. Now, in the meantime, we're going to put lube on these O-rings. Now if the o-rings aren't going to come out, we're just going to put a light little lube on the top of them. Next time we do it, we're going to have a replacement set of o-rings ready to replace them. Do this twice. Um, cell stand over the bucket. Take it off. Always be aware of your flow sensor. We want that going back towards the pool. Put each one on just slightly. And the trick is we can actually tighten these up at the same time. That last turn should be at the same exact time. Now we're gonna turn it on. Here's the moment we've been waiting for. No green light yet. Good. So there you saw it. If you have your light flashing for your salt, it may not be the salt. So first thing we're gonna always do is check the filter. Then if the filter isn't too bad or if we um, have cleaned it recently, next thing we're gonna check is the cell. Go ahead and clean it and then turn it back on and see if we get a better reading on our cell. Always check your salt with a, either a electronic salt tester or use the Taylor salt testers that I showed you earlier in the video. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.